Hello, fellow Rail fans. It's Austin Trains. Um, yeah, this is the first time you've really heard me talking in a video. It's kind of special. But I just wanted to have you guys... To show you guys a tutorial on how to change... To make your custom horns on Train Simulator 2016. It may be confusing at times, but once you get the hang of it, it's alright. Um, I got this request from... YouTube username Austin Ross he requested to change the horn on the um, DT the DTG uh, dash 840 C DLC so I will be doing that for the example so the first thing you're going to want to do to make a custom horn is find a video to take the horn from so I'll go to photos and find a video of a dash 8 like this one So yeah, that sounds pretty nice. Okay, so let's say we wanted to use that one. So, what we're going to do is, you're going to need a couple of programs for this. One is Windows Movie Maker, which your computer should have that. So you want to go to Open With and Movie Maker. And once you do that, Movie Maker will open and open your file. So, here is the video. So now we're going to go to to make the audio for the horn, we're going to have to edit and click trim tool here and trim it down to where the horn is. So I'm going to use the second blast out of this crossing sequence. Right there. So Trim the end down here. Alright, so that sounds good. So you can save that. And now, there it, that's our file. So, now what we're going to do is you're going to go up to the top there, File, um, Save Movie, and then we're going to scroll all the way down to Audio Only, and we will just name it uh, Dash 8. Not the, not the horn proxy. There we go. So, Save. There we go. So now that is saved to our desktop and that's it that's what it sounds like so we can close all this out and here it is right here so now what we're going to do is we have to change this to WAV format WAV right now it's in M M4A file so what we're going to do is we're going to go to this online converter it's called uh, I'll have the link I'll try to put the link in it's audio.online, audio convert. So we're going to go to browse and find it. So dash 8 right there and open it and it pops it in there. And we hit convert. So now it will convert it to web format. There we go. Now it's downloading it down here at the bottom. All right, now we can open it. So there you go. So I can close that out. I can delete the M4A1. I can just go into downloads and get out the WAV format. There we go. I'll put that right there. Now you're gonna need another program over here. Um, Audacity. Audacity. I don't know how to. I don't know how it's pronounced. But you're gonna drag your horn file and put it in there. And let that load. There you go. So now when you open it, it will come to two audio tracks here. That's not a big deal. All we have to do is click on the drop box right here and go down to split stereo track and then get rid of this one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to click on that again and we're going to change the sound to mono. If you don't do this, it the the horn will have no Doppler effect.
so it won't sound right. So that's it. Um, now we're gonna have to make the start, loop, and end files for the horn. So first, what we're gonna do is we're going to highlight for the start. So now I can take this little bit out because that's just there's nothing there. There we go. So we're gonna make the start. Doesn't have to be too long. You can make it make it however long you want. That sounds good. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here and we're gonna copy it and then open a new window and paste the start in here. So that's your start file. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file, export audio, and I will just export it to the desktop and we'll call it horn underscore start and that's it so then we can save that hit ok and then we can get rid of that one and as you can see here there it is horn start Put that below there. So now we're gonna have to make the loop. And what you want to do here is you want to leave this highlighted and leave that where it is. You don't want to mess this up, or it won't sound right. So you're gonna wait until the finger comes up there, click on that, and just drag. And you can see it leaves the mark there. So then we're gonna. Right now we'll make the loop file. So. And what I what the thing that I, it um. If the loop is off pitch, it it won't loop right. It won't sound right. There will, it'll sound obvious that you have a loop in there. So what you want to do is I to, to hear if it sounds right. You can go to transport and hit loop play, and you can see how it skips a bit. So you can adjust it to see where it will sound right. This one's a little tricky because the pitch changes. That sounds okay. So now, same thing we did for the start file. We can hit copy, the new file, and then paste, and here it is. So we're going to do the same. We're going to go to file, export. This time we will call this one horn underscore loop. That's not how you spell loop. Two O's. Okay. Then we can save that. Hit OK. And we can close that out. And as you can see, again, there it is. So now we have the start and loop. Now all, of it, all we have to do is create the end file. So same thing. Click here, drag, and you can just highlight however much of the end file you need. So all right, that sounds good. So now again, copy new, paste, and that's it. So, file, export, and we'll name this one horn underscore end. Alright, so now we are done. We can close this. And here are our main three files. Horn, loop, start, loop, and end. So, open 7-zip and find the locomotive. So, Go to program files times 86, steam, steam apps, common, railworks, assets, and you want to go to the creator of the locomotive you're changing, so ours is DTG, and then the dash 8 pack 01. Now we're going to go to dash 8 pack assets AP, AP file, and then once you're in here you want to go to audio, rail vehicles, diesel dash 8 and cab now here is where you will put the horn so we can drag these three files in and hit yes and there you go now you can see they're in right here now to make these horns work you need to change the dash 8 horn proxy xml file you can open it with notepad that works so here it is now, what you want to do is you can see all of these codes are what make the train read the horn and have it sound. So, here is the current 
default horn file, the horn loop, the horn start, and the end. Now with this one it has separate cab files, so what you would need to do is go back in uh, the audio Audacity and just, uh, I won't show it in this video, but all you need to do is lower the volume or the gain on the start loop and ends and put them, make them separate files, cab files, and put them in the same spot and then you could name them to that. So we'll just change the main three for the um, exterior. So we will change this to whatever our loop file is. Make sure you know which one it is. This is the horn loop. So our horn loop is horn underscore loop dot web. So we're going to go here and we'll do it. Make sure you have the caps and everything. So horn underscore loop dot wave so that now will work so now we're going to go to the horn start and do the same thing so horn underscore start now make sure you spell it right I can't spell S T A R T there we go and then dot wave so make sure you add the dot wave after that and then for the end, same thing, we'll add horn underscore end dot wav. So there you go. That's how that works. So we can save, we can save that. Now, if I go in here, I saved it in my bell folder just because, yeah, see now it is updated, so to the wave file. So now we can just pull that out and drag that in and it will overwrite. As you can see, horn loop wave, horn start wave, horn end wave. I won't change the cab files because like I said, all you have to do is go um take each one individual one, put it in and just lower the volume and then name them as horn start underscore cab dot wave and then you know do the same. So we can minimize that and that's everything seems in order so now we can open train sim alright so now that we're in we can go to drive and we can pick our locomotive so we will go to the we'll find the dash 8 for EC wherever it may be see ever since I learned this how to do this I've changed the horns on all of my locomotives or at least my whole North American roster okay so here we are the Dash 840C and we'll just pick the light engine and start And once it loads in, we should see that the horn, the cab won't be changed again. Like I said, we didn't change the cab file, the interior files. Now, all of the, not all of the uh, locomotives have interior files. Some don't, some do. So, it's easier to do the ones without. But since the Dash 8 had different interior sounds than the um, exterior sounds, it had different, it had an extra three files. So, it'll have the default horn on the inside. You'll just have to change that. But it'll be the same on the outside. So here it is. So here it sounds the default inside. But on the outside, go a beautiful new horn for a dash 840c so yeah if I were to change the cab files this horn this horn um, on the outside would be the same on the inside but you want to make sure you lower the volume or it will be extremely loud on the inside and it won't sound right so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, tutorial thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.